Uh, I've got a lot of testimony on, on this particular bill, uh, approximately 33 or more testimonies to support, one in opposition. So, uh, Dr. Gaines, you're, you're the only one in opposition, if you could. Vice Chair Ikiyama and members of the committee, uh, I'm going to stand on my testimony in opposition. I've submitted it before, and it's before you. I'm certainly willing to answer any questions. Thank you. Sure. I, we do have your testimony, and during the question and answer period, if the committee does have any questions, we'll call you. Thank you very much. Okay, since I have so many other testimonies in support, what I'm going to say is if you could stand on your written testimony in support, that's fine. But if you need to speak, uh, if you could raise your hand and come forward. Yes. So I just wanted to add something. If you, could, if you could identify yourself and I'll sure. look for your name on this list. My name is Daniel Luke. It's spelled like the word luck with an E before the U. Please proceed. Sure. Uh, so just briefly what I wanted to add to the testimony, um, I felt that it didn't take into consideration the, the concerns of the university. Um, and I just want to state that I, uh, my reason for supporting it is not just on behalf of HTDC, which provided an, an excellent uh, um, set of services and location for my business for a number of years at MIC, uh, but also that um, this, you know, I, you often have in front of you uh, bills and issues relating to technolo effective te technology transfer and workforce development in Hawaii. And the reason that I think that that particular location is so important, not just to HCDC, but to the university system as well, is that is its proximity to UH Manoa. Uh, we have many uh, interns that come up and circulate from the university up to MIC. They walk up. There's a, a shuttle that comes up there regularly. Uh, we have a, a number of companies that work with technologies that have been licensed through OTED from the University of Hawaii. So not, not just technology, but in terms of people and workforce development, it's a way that we take top students. My small company by itself has six former students from the University of Hawaii that we worked with uh, in almost all those cases as part of an internship program. Uh, and it happened because we are close to the university. I'm a guest lecturer there. It's an easy thing for me to do. Uh, I'm one of many examples. Uh, we brought those guys in as uh, those men and women in as, as interns and they became full-time employees in most of their cases they were planning to leave the state they were looking to get out of school out of the computer science or engineering program and go find a quote good job on the mainland uh, you know end quote so uh, it's it's a vital thing for not just for HGC but for UH to have a presence of uh, a commercial presence there um, where it can work in synergy with the UH system and retain those people and also help transfer their technologies. Thank you. Thank um, you for your uh, Yes. How did you spell your last name? It's L-E-U-C-K. Okay, I don't think I have your testimony, so if you could submit it later on, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I will resubmit. Okay. No problem. Does anybody else want to please come up? Uh, Representative Choi and uh, Ichiyama, Good thank afternoon. you for hearing me. Um, you should have my written uh, testimony. And your name is? My name is Attila Sares with SOS well, you guys Tech don't Solutions. Have easy names, do you? Attila Sares. We make it easy to remember. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Um, and I can speak from the perspective of a tenant. Maybe I can bring some unique points of view. Um, and, uh, you know, I am also a small business owner, and I am part of their incubation program. And, uh, you know, we created a, an interesting new product that uh, I had thought of for many years, and uh, it filled a need. And uh, HTDC, along with the Manoa Innovation Center, kind of allowed me to, to get, gain admittance into their program. And uh, originally, we were actually working out of a rented storage unit, and uh, the opportunity uh, to move into a place where we could be assisted to focus away from uh, survival and move towards growth was was very uh, unique and um, you know since moving there we've had uh, roughly 36 percent growth in our revenues uh, we've uh, we're planning on doubling our staff this year and I don't feel that any of these would have been possible 
without the resources and assistance that they give there. And, um, you know, in closing, I just wanted to reiterate that I do have two children. Uh, I do commute from Eva Beach each day. It's spend hours in traffic. And, uh, you know, so there are some sacrifices away from family. Uh, there are. But the, but the benefits, really, of being in such a program um, mean more to me. And I'd like to be able to tell my kids, uh, when they're old enough to enter the workforce, that there are opportunities for them and they can work for an employee or a place where they can make a difference. Mm -hmm. And I feel that the Innovation Center is the key to that. Thank you. Have you heard of Neulani School? Uh, yes, it's a very good school. <laughs> I'd like to be there, but uh, that commute is a little rough. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your Thank testimony. you for hearing me. Would anybody else like to testify on this measure? Sir? My name is Bill Bass, and I'm the guy who wrote the, the legislation for the High Tech Development Corporation. I signed the lease, and I'm here to make myself available more than anything else if you have questions. But uh, I'm just having a great time listening to these entrepreneurs tell you exactly why we built this thing 25 years ago. Um, the reason we signed a lease as opposed to took the facility outright is we were just starting out. It was uh, the second project we'd ever proposed and uh, we didn't have a track record. And uh, Harold Matsumoto, who is the director of administration, suggested that a lease would be the way to go in case we failed and the university wouldn't lose its investment. So gladly I signed the bill to get the construction started in 1989. Um, other than that, the facility seems to be work, working just the way we thought it would. It's been working for 24 years, 20, almost 25 years now, and I hope you'll see your way through to approving this bill. Thank you very much. Hey, Mr. Bass, this is all your fault then, huh? Yes. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, would anybody else like to testify? Seeing none, members, any questions? Okay, seeing none, let's move on.